guys welcome and welcome back to my channel it's me Anna again with another video today friends I'm showing you how we treat dandruff in their hair you know so dandruff is a serious problem for those who grow their hair so I want to show you how do we treat dandruff in the hair here in my village one of the things we're going to use in fact is one we are going to use neem leaves so I'm holding is to help me pick the leaves up from the neem tree. The neem tree is not very far from here. So guys, here we are where we are is the neem tree. Now friends, these are the neem leaves we've just got from the neem tree. You saw me picking them. So I, like I told you, we are going to use this for the treatment of hair, but this treatment is mainly for dandruff. If I've got dandruff problems like dandruff in your hair, it works on both natural and treated hair. So it is something which we do here in my village, we do use here in my village. So how do we use this neem? Neem leaves as an anti dandruff treatment. So we go ahead and we boil these leaves like I'm doing right now. So we put in a saucepan. You just pick any quantity you want. Just pick any quantity. And then we go ahead and we boil. After this, we go ahead and we boil these leaves. Like I told you in my village, we use three stones to cook. So here we go. Here are our three stones. Oh, so guys, like I told you, neem leaves, they have a good number of medicinal value. You may wonder, you may think it only works on hair, like to work on the dandruff on the, in the hair, but it does very many things antibacterial in nature anything antibacterial children having cough this will do wonders and by the way also like pain in the stomach if, if you have got stomach issues pain in the stomach it may be due to indigestion food poisoning this neem water like the water you get after boiling this if you drink it help you on that even for hair growth, by the way, for those who want to grow their hair, if we take it back to, to hair, so it does many things. I may not exhaust all of them, guys, in this video, but for this video, let us see how do we use it to, to remove dandruff in our hair. So as it is cooking, let me prepare my hair ready for, for using this, this treatment. So let's go into that. Feeling, we have to keep turning until we see that our water the color is 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 turning like becoming green that's when you know that you've extracted all the the good of the name into the water so we are going to boil longer but as we we, we turn still
So you have to rinse and see that the water is very clean. No soap has remained in your hair to affect the, the treatment. So after that, I wipe the hair dry. Anything which can absorb water, you use. I'm using this. Even our treatment has boiled. So we are going to pour it in the basin here and allow it to to cool. This thing, guys, has turned the green, meaning. All the value has been extracted from the from the leaves. So we are going to leave it to cool. In fact, I can aid the cooling by doing this. Of course, it's getting dark. guys try out these treatments if, if you have access to neem leaves by the way even neem powder is sold like in powder form so neem leaves are made into powder form if you have no access to the leaves you can go ahead and use the powder you just make tea and use that tea in your in your hair I would like to know for you who is watching my video what treatments do you use in case you have dandruff the ones which are organic I want the ones which are organic oh baby is crying So now guys, our treatment has cooled, so we go ahead and rinse it in the, in the hair. But before you use this, make sure that your hair is very clean. You've washed it very well, like I've washed mine. So now we go ahead. By the way, you try as much as you can to massage the treatment into the scalp, you know? Because that's where the dandruff is.
people who have got pimples. This neem water helps with the pimples. So if you have pimples, because it's antibiotic, just not as antibiotic, it also help you with your pimples. But it's bitter, guys. <laughs> what is bad about it? It is bitter, but you have to choose. You have to choose whether to keep with your dandruff or to enjoy the bitterness. This is a leave-in treatment. It is a leave-in soap. After you've done the final rinsing with this, you don't wash it away. You don't wash the hair again. So you have to leave it in the hair. It dries in the hair. It remains in the hair. Continue, as in to continue doing the, the job. So I'm going to leave it in the hair. And after this, I'm going to do still African threading, like I told you about my blood drying method, which is which does not involve the use of heat. So I prefer using African threading in my hair because I don't use heat. Heat weakens my hair for that I know. So I prefer using the heatless methods of blood drying my hair. So let us see how I do my African threading and then I conclude this video. Yeah. So guys, we've come to the end of this video. That's it about this hair treatment here in my village. If you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give this video a like. If you're my new viewer, please consider subscribing to my channel. Turn on your, your notification bell for new video updates. And to my beautiful returning subscribers, please, thank you so much. Keep it up. Thank you so much for watching, guys. See you in my next video. Love you so much. Bye-bye.